file map is being removed from Godot 4.3. But if you're not, there's a new node that is called tile map layer. And in this video, we'll be going over what is the difference. All right, so the main difference between these two nodes is simply the layering. The layering is now being essentially moved into multiple layers, multiple nodes. So now, if I create a new tile set, and this tile set will be in the description. So I'll add a new tile set, planes. And to set up a uh, auto tiling, all we need to do is go into terrain sets, add new element, add new terrain, add element, and we can pop this up, go to paint, we will go to terrains, select the terrain that we want, terrain zero, and if we want to auto tile these, we can simply select them all, and we can start using our bit mask to draw along the dirt. So all you need to do is copy what I have, essentially, and this will create auto tiling for us. Now, if we want all of these, we can definitely do that. All we really need to do is cover the dirt areas and avoid the grass. So it's relatively simple. All we need to do is color it in, and there we go, we're done. Now we can head over to the tile map. Let's just make sure that's right. And head over to the tile map. We can go to terrains, and now we can select the terrain zero and just start drawing. And of course, if I start drawing more, you'll see that it gets filled in with our auto tiling. Now, you may notice that the layering is gone, but now all I need to do is duplicate the tile map layer. And now I can simply start drawing on a different tile or a different layer. Now, let's say I want this to be the grass and this to be the dirt. I would simply rename it to grass and dirt. And I can go to the grass, delete all the grass. So let's go into the terrain and right click and that'll delete everything from this layer. We'll go to the tiles and we can simply select the layer. And now we can just draw. And this will put the grass behind the dirt. Now, obviously, this may not be what you want. So we, maybe we can just pop this grass tile in, go back to tile map, pop this in, and there we go. Now we have a real grass that should fit in. So if I turn the dirt behind it, you can now see that the dirt tile set now shows behind the grass. So all I need to do is make sure that the layering is in the right order. Or alternatively, if we want to uh, just put these in whatever order and order them the way I want it, I can go into the grass tile, make sure that the Z index is Z0 by default. And then I can go to the dirt tile and make sure that this Z index is one. And now no matter where I layer these, the dirt will always show up on top. Now do make sure that if you add a player, so for example, if we add a character body 2D and I add, let's say a sprite 2D for this guy or a icon for this guy, you can now see that the player will show up behind the dirt. So you're going to need to make sure that you order everything the way you'd like it to be. So we can make sure that in the ordering, the Z index is either one or just greater than the dirt, which in this case, I put it to two. And that's it. That is all you need to know for the new tile map. Hopefully, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, definitely hit the sub button down below and uh, I will see you all in the next video.